See the right warthog, warthog cameras. Very shy animals. It's a young. See the some of the similarities to Nyala, that's sort of their closest relative, as well as Kudu. Markings on the leg, a few spots. Some have a few stripes, while well, this one not particularly so. <laughs> Love bushbuck. Well, we got a loose of antelope in this area, really beautiful. I can't remember when last we saw one of these. We saw a bushbuck female and youngster a while back, about a week and a half ago or so, but fantastic antelope. Very secretive, very sort of surreptitious. They love these lush areas, hence the name bushbuck. Especially the males. You can go for months and months out here without ever seeing a bushbuck ram. As you can see, See this one was just quietly sneaking away from the water hole here using this little overflow riverbed area. It's such beautiful antelope. This is an adult female, even though she's relatively young still. She'll still get a little bit bigger. You can see large ears as well. Quite big eyes. Bushbuck are very active at night. So they've got probably slightly better night vision than your typical antelope fall in the same family as, as Kudu and Nyala, same subfamily actually to be specific. Those big ears, one of the characters. Reptitious type antelope, you don't see them often, don't hear about them often. Now and again you'll hear a bomb call at night when they see a leopard. But uh, in many aspects they're like ghosts. They're around but you don't see them very often. This is a big male, bushbuck. The same as Nyala actually, and could do the same subfamily, only the males have horns. Quite a nice looking male as well, or ram to be beautiful. Love that white spot on the throat. Patch maybe, it's quite, quite a good spot. mentioned before they're probably some of the shyest antelope very difficult to see often never mind a mother and a baby like this and just absolutely stunning look at the lights on them so pretty Like kudus, they're in the same subfamily. Bushbuck also have incredibly good hearing. They live in thick stuff, as the name suggests. These riverine areas, the hearing is a very important part of their sort of awareness of their surrounding. When we spoke about sound a little bit last night. If you 
look at them, notice how those ears are always moving, always checking around. It's like a constant radar that they have. I'm not driving, okay? Not driving. That boy is a big salary, he's not going to be there. <laughs> it's almost like mirror images of each other. You see the youngster also chewing away, mother chewing away. Well, it's an interesting place where they're standing. Just look a little bit sort of, just this sort of close vicinity around them. Look at that. See the lighting? You can see there's just this beam of light coming through the bushes almost. And that's part of why they're standing up there. They've come. <laughs> 